partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood, who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our Founding Father documents, yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this God bless the USA Bible. And it's just very important and very important to me. I want to have, you have to have it for your heart, for your soul. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. Independence and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this God bless the USA Bible. And it's just very important and very important to me. I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. Many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as Americans and how you are being threatened to lose those rights. It's happening all the time. It's a very sad thing that's going on in our country, but we're going to get it turned around. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's so missing, but it's going to come back, and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong when they built America on Judeo-Christian values. Now that foundation is under attack, perhaps as never before. The term Judeo-Christian is an oxymoron. The two are diametrically opposed, as Judaism vehemently rejects the Messiah in Jesus Christ. The two are not compatible. Therefore, it is a misleading and muddying term that will lead people to go astray and turn to the Jews, the ones who possess the oracles of God. This is how it's going to be presented. And you're going to have your morality legislated to you. That's their idea of religion coming back into the world, a one world moral religion based on not Judeo-Christian values, but on the Antichrist spirit. The legions of Americans asking to make America great again. The legions of Americans, the legions of Americans. There you have it. Let's make America pray again. God bless you and God bless the USA. I'll leave the link to many fishers. Please watch. But the Trump Bible costing how much? Oh, $60. I'll just take away the zero, right? So we understand what's behind all of this. And yes, oxymoron, you know, the Judeo-Christian, we understand. But I wanted to look at, you know, the person who he was standing and making this Bible with, Lee Greenwood. Um, I don't even need to go into who Trump is. We here on this channel, understand who he is, but Lee Greenwood, hmm, look at that. He was working with the Rotary Club. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, he's received awards, you know, for that song, God Bless America. He founded his first band. What was it called? The Apollo. Oh, that's right. Oh, Trump also had the Apollo statue, or was it painting in his uh, penthouse, I believe? I'm, I don't have a picture of that, but we understand when he also said legion, what kind of legion is he standing with? Oh, possibly, you know, Nicholas Papa Nicolau, you know, the Grand Master, hmm, who's also with many Christians. I'll get into that in another video, but Lee Greenwood, they're all with Mike Lindell. Look at that. He's everywhere, this man, everywhere. And legion, we understand they all are standing together. When you're in the club, the Rotary Club, the Lions, the Orders, you know, the Order of the White Rose or the Order of whatever, or the Knights, they have many different names, but they're all in these same clubs. I don't need to go over with that with you guys. We understand. We do not belong to any of these clubs, nor would I want to. I want to only have Jesus in my heart. I don't want to have and be in any social club or anything because they're all aligned to each other. But we understand that here, the deception, deception is becoming so great. 
All I can say is don't trust in anyone, not ever, not even me. Always research and look and trust in Jesus alone and, and the word of God. That's it. Wow. So many things. I have also pictures in the community section. Go take a look. Otherwise, I'll have more to come. God bless you guys. Take care. Till next time.